my beautiful little South Bend Shaper has been sitting in this spot in this studio since I made the video series on the South Bend Mill, you know, several years back. So now it's coming out of the basement. As a matter of fact, I'll probably sell it. Going to move it out into the garage. Now that's no easy job. The thing weighs about 300 or 350 pounds without the cabinet. And the whole idea of, of this video is to show you how I'm going to move this. Now I can't move it. I have no strength whatsoever anymore. I'm 81 years old and I'm weak as a newborn kitten. But I want you to see how we're going to move this out. And I'll have my son-in-law and, and my grandson help me. But this piece of uh, one inch galvanized pipe is bolted onto the ram very securely. The machine is unbolted from the base, as I said, and now this can be carried out of the basement and up these steps and into the garage, and we're going to carry it like an antelope would be carried out of the uh, Kalahari Desert or wherever they find antelopes by native porters, and you've seen pictures of that, so... Imagine a man on each end with that pipe on his shoulder, whipping right up that stairs. For you see that the very difficulty of moving a heavy machine that's relatively small up a stairs, it's a problem because there's no way to hang on to it. There's no handles. Now, if it was in a crate or a pallet, yes, but a pretty steep stairs. So, in essence, what I'm doing here is I put a handle on it. And it, it just makes the machine manageable. I have moved, moved large lathe beds, a big South Bend lathe bed that must have weighed 800 pounds. And I had a much bigger pipe and much longer. And I had three or four men on each end. And it went right up the stairs like they were carrying groceries. Okay, we're about ready to move this. We got, <laughs> well, wait a minute, quit play acting. Palmer. Play. Oh. And Russell, anytime you guys are ready, we're going to move this machine up the stairs. You okay, Russ? Yep. Take her slow, boys. Isn't he going to set it down? Well, I thought he was. When you but... say you're ready, if I can set it down, I'll set it down. I'm at the top. Can I set it down? Yep. And then I want to get underneath it. Take her slow, boys. You want me to take that in and you're over here? Okay. Got it? Ready? You, I'm ready. And you can put it on crossways. See how easy that is when there's a handle on the machine? Yeah. <laughs> easy for me standing Just up like here the with Egyptians. a camera. How the Egyptians did it. I think you'll take the weight more. All right. Is that worth it? No, never I, worth it. Oh, I can't thank you guys enough. And, and because of what you've done for me, I'd like to, you to each have a quarter. You get a cup of coffee or malted milk or something like that oh, to enjoy man. yourself. 
Yeah. Need a, need a Thank quarter, you Henry? so much. Sure. <laughs> I recommend you don't spend it all in one place, but you know, it's yours. Hey, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Go get us something good for that. But in all sincerity, thank you guys. Your grandma's kitchen. She's got some good stuff in there. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. You bet. You're welcome. You too, Russ. No problem, Dad. <laughs> and here it is. So the idea today, I would like to take the chucks and the collets and the tailstock and all the tooling and decide how I intend to actually move this because it weighs about eight or nine hundred pounds.